Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just riding with me. It's just a beautiful thing that, you know, you can resonate with the videos as you're taking your daily uh joy ride in this crazy journey <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and you haven't already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now, or trying to find their soul purpose as well as their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the, this uh, meditation music I'm listening to in the back is called Attract Positive Energy, Boost Your Positive Auric Field, and Bring Positive Changes in Binary Beats. And I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all pause for the cause. I gotta go ahead and turn this TV down in my living room. It is like a little bit too loud, and I forgot to do that before I started uh, recording, so I'll be right back. Yes, I am back. I had to go turn down that TV. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't be so hard on yourself. You are, you are much closer than you think you are for better days ahead. It is, because it's just like I hear some of y'all talking about the things y'all go through. And I really sympathize with you. Trust me, I really do. Because I know how it is to be you know, on a journey and not sure how close you are to your blessings. You know, you're supposed to stay focused, but things are going on around you that uh, they can really set you back, you know, a few st steps. You know, you can feel like, oh gosh, I congratulate myself. You know, I made 10 steps ahead. And it's just like, I'm, you know, being, you know, being good, staying focused, you know, working on my, my gifts that I'm doing, you know, or, you know, meditating or helping out people where they need to be helped out at, or, you know, letting go, cutting cords, you know, just trying to stay focused, not pushing out anything that's, you know, negative or anything like that. And it's just like, you have to give yourself credit where credit is due. You know, when you're going through stuff <laughs> and if you have been having a rough childhood, because a lot of y'all have told me the things that you have in, endured during life, you know, you have to be able to look at yourself like if you have never been to jail for hurting the people that hurt you or you, you know, you weren't like one of them psycho killers that, you know, kill kids or, you know, adults or even animals, you know, you have to really give yourself credit because there's a lot of people that have probably went through stuff like this or haven't, you know, especially if you, you know, you, uh, that's the main reason why I don't watch news. You know, I was just watching an episode of, you know, a court hearing. And I mean, I was just about to come through the screen of somebody named Christopher McNabb. And that was enough. I don't even want to talk about the stuff that they did, but it's just like when you can see how ugly the world is out here compared to the things that you're going through it makes you like well, dang you know uh my stuff wasn't that bad <laughs> you know and it makes you really think about stuff like that and it's just like you have to give yourself credit if you know if you have been through a very traumatizing experience through your through your adulthood or even your your childhood and you're just trying you see the things that you need to let go of you recognize the things that you're insecure about that you're trying to, you know, let go of part ways with whatever you have to give yourself credit for that. Because when you can, when you notice the situation at hand that has got you this far, you know, you can sit up here and say, I, you know, I went through this. I went through that. I had a narcissistic family. You know, I had a narcissistic spouse. You know, I went through this. You know, I was sexually abused. I was verbally abused or I was physically abused. All those different things. It takes a lot to let go of that. It takes a lot for a person to actually open up and say the things that they have went through. You know, don't expect yourself to be <laughs> cured overnight. You have to give yourself credit because it's just like it takes a lot for number one 
for you to be open and honest about the things that you have, you know, did and, you know, has things has been done to your, you in your life because it has you, you know, if you have been very traumatized, it will have you looking at people differently. And I've said that many times in different videos before. It'll have you looking at relationships differently. You know, even friendships, you know, being close to people because I know people that have been through traumatizing things and they're very anti-social. Shoot, I'm very anti-social. You know, finding out my dad was the same way, you know, it's just like, you know, he he did all these different things but didn't really like getting close to a lot of people like that so it's just like going through all these different things you have to give yourself credit because it's like the more you keep working on yourself the more you keep you know acknowledging your gift the more you keep working on your gift finding out more things about yourself on that road to self-discovery trying to find different ways to allow yourself to heal and cut cords from either toxic people or things that have been placed upon you for you to still heal from because there's a lot of people out here that's probably locked up or not even living for the things that you have endured and just for you to be a hayoka on top of that because we always go through things backwards we always go through the roughest roads when we could have just went over the bridge instead of that we took the long way we're like no nah, i'm gonna take the long way you can go ahead and take the shortcut you know we're like that so you have to give yourself that credit and know that better days are ahead of you you're probably getting signs you're probably getting visions dreams like if you're having dreams of apocalyptic things about being around a zombie apocalypse falling off of a building you know or falling just falling or uh i forgot what the other one was I forgot what the other one was because it's like my daughters and them be telling me i said girl you about to start a new chapter in your life it, you know <laughs> but it's just like god and universe gonna have you go through all these strenuous things because if they didn't feel like you were capable capable enough i meant to say capable enough i'm trying to talk capable enough of enduring the things that you endure on an everyday basis trust me i know it's hard it can be very stressful but if they didn't think that you were capable of enduring these things i guarantee you they wouldn't have tried you like that they were like oh you know sam got that you know he done been through this and this and this and that and it's just like crazy how there's times where i can listen to my motiv motiv uh, motivational meditation music and start having visions of how we were before we even came to be in human form and it's like crazy not crazy like lucy lulu crazy but crazy because we were like like renegade soldiers you, you know you you seen like that is like they allowed you to see the family that you were placed in the people you would have to you know connect with during this journey you know you have i mean renegade it was like i don't even know what kind of movie i can describe this as but it's like stargate kind of like you know everything was like stargate when you when you see it but except that that thing that was you know uh all crazy or whatever when it the thing that they, you know that was in that person if anybody ever seen that movie stargate it was like us in a good version <laughs> whatever that little thing was that you know that was had all those powers it was like us like that but in a good version you know we're fighting for the greater good we were doing all these things i mean soldiers ante up so don't ever think that you cannot do this and i know there's times you want to let go you want to give up don't do that because especially if you know that you're on a mission you have a duty within your life to be able to help others guide others teach others learn from other people as they learn from you allow yourself to keep going because it's just like you do not want darkness to make you lose focus that's not what you want to do and that's what they're trying to make you do and it's like you have to really just stay focused and it's just I, I you know I have to tell myself all the time when I go through you know messed up situations and I see things as they fall and it's like a lot of times right now I'm getting a lot of visions a lot of stuff I can't really talk about talk about or talk upon but you know there's other things that's going on that you know when i see that especially when <laughs> you know a lot of us are not even in human form yet and are allowing you to see the things that you had to endure you're like oh yeah that's a piece of cake until you got in human form and you forgot all about what your mission was and it took for you to have to go into that spiritual awakening for you to allow uh, you know allow yourself to start getting these little bits of downloads upgrades because they're allowing you to have you know they have to wipe your memory out 
first of all, foremost. You know, from where I'm looking at it, you have to wipe your memory out because it's just the fact is it's like you're starting all over again. And you're like, wait a minute, what the hell? Yes, you have to do that. So if anybody else feels that way, like, you know, that veil, the ones that are over our face, it's like our memory, they have to wipe our memory clean so we can be able to start all over again just to be able to do teach the people we need to teach help heal the people that need to help cut the cords for the people we need to cut cords from and keep it moving so that we can be able to get that special rewards that we have been working hard for being able to heal in ways we never thought we were able to you know um being able to help others see there's so much you know we all as empaths want them to be you know, want us to be in a better world where it's not hatred, uh, diversity, bigotry, racism, you know, all these, you know, animals being killed. But we have to work within ourselves first for us to be able to allow that those things to happen. So do not be hard on yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You know, <laughs> give yourself where credit is credit's due. And as soon as I said it, it was like 11-11. And you have to be able to do that and knowing you're capable of doing this I have to keep telling myself this every day so allow yourself to be able to instill that into you every day and knowing that you will get through this better days are headed towards your way so I hope you were able to recognize and I said recognize <laughs> resonate with the uh, topic of this video please drop me a line and let me know if you're feeling like these things you know are you getting these little short snippet of your visions of you being in this renegade soldier type person or entity you know that's been placed in human form that they smacked down into the 3d world oh, Lord, what are they what are they but uh like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop drop me a line share give me a thumbs up and know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and my post notification shout outs go to valentine corsica robert cole and king hayoka and sam i am holmes much love to you peace and be wild